So there's plenty of frogs in this water, and tadpoles, and water spiders and whatnot, and gutter snakes don't mind eating any of them. So there you go. But we also have a hibernaculum pretty close to this spot right here, so I'll talk about that in a few minutes. Eastern garter snake. Probably looking for food, perhaps some place to sun, but I'm pretty sure this snake has already collected the sun for the day. And is possibly out hunting right now. We're looking for a drink. We'll find out in a minute if it starts drinking. Nope, it's hunting. Would have grabbed its drink right away. Hey guys, sorry about the lighting. Let's see if I can change this at all. But um, I'm heading towards a hibernaculum right now. And then I'll explain a little bit about what that means. Got a nice vernal type of pool here. Got some pitcher plants and arrowroot and all sorts of other cool things. This area here is a great example or representation of a hibernaculum. You've got all these rocks piled up and the rocks actually go beneath the ground also allowing for tons of crevices and whatnot between them and of course it's filled with soil and it doesn't have to be rocks to be a hibernaculum there could just be holes in the ground and in fact here is one of the residents right now okay what is going on what is that sorry about the lighting a hibernaculum is pretty much a spot where the snakes go to hibernate and other things too um, hibernaculum so underneath the ground here are still more boulders with crevices and spaces in between them and pockets of hollow pockets for them to nestle up in often in the dozens and in some places in the hundreds um, or more and they hibernate or sleep under there at this time of year they just go down there to sleep or just under a rock you know um, lots of garters and water snakes will share it. Uh, same with rattlesnakes and garters and things. A lot of different species might share their hibernaculums. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, good place to find snakes. Better. See all those markings? When it's older, the whole snake might just appear as brown or reddish brown. Right now they've got these colors. Can you see it? Check this out over here. Two Nerodia Sipidens just sunning. and They almost looked like they were courting earlier, but I couldn't film it because I had a group of kids with me. Two northern water snakes. Pretty sure that darker one is the male, the smaller one. Yeah. I'm disturbing it, I think. And the bigger one, of course, is the female. The one pulling its head now, turning around. And I think they just mated. I think they just finished mating. And this is a good spot for them. Because as you can see, it's a nice little pool. There's a lot of frogs here. Green frogs, bullfrogs, tadpoles. It's a nice safe spot. Not many fish eating the food on them. So they've got all the food to themselves here. Those rocks have great cover and crevices to hide in. They can come out just like that, and collect the sunlight when they need to, and then duck back in for cover when they need to. Uh, just spotted a bald eagle and two red-tailed hawks way up above. So there are things for them to watch out for, especially them hawks. And we have a breeding pair of Cooper's hawks here. You know, all those things, they don't mind eating snakes. So this is a good spot for the snakes. They can duck under cover when need be. There's some uh, pitcher plants right there. So if you want to learn more about pitcher plants and those type of plants and possibly environments, check out some of my previous videos. There's a plant that I talk about with uh, a video where I talk about carnivorous plants that has pitcher plants and sundews and stuff in it, including some of my lower forge camping videos and whatnot. 
Um, but I want to see, there's usually some big old frogs in here and snakes and whatnot. So I'm just going to scout real quick, real quick. Oh, there goes a couple of them. So pretty cool. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Chris Ignano, signing out.